Hey guys, it's Larry here from Photo Me Larry, and in today's episode of the video, we're gonna talk about using PhotoFlow, how to get the proper dilution, and my pro tip for making a gallon of it. Now, a lot of people don't really know about PhotoFlow when developing their 35 millimeter film or their 120. If you're developing film, my last step is always PhotoFlow. This is critical to getting smooth negatives without scratches, dust, and water stains specifically. And trust me, if you're developing film at home, to scan it yourself, you're gonna want the cleanest results that you can possibly get. Um, I can't recommend it enough, and I'm gonna show you today how to actually make a proper mixture. Some people will note that on the bottle that doesn't really say how many milliliters or how many ounces you're supposed to make, but it does give you a little bit of math if you read it. It says 200 plus and then one equals 201. What they're saying is for, two, for every 200 parts of water, you wanna use one part of PhotoFlow. So if you have like a milliliter like this, they're basically saying for every 200 full droppers of water, you do one full dropper of PhotoFlow. PhotoFlow is use it once, dump it, and don't use it again because obviously you're gonna be, you don't wanna pour or mix chemicals back into your base. I like to keep my base always clean. So if I'm gonna make a gallon of PhotoFlow, I want it to always be 100% PhotoFlow. I don't want it to be 99.8% PhotoFlow and you know 0.2% you know fixer stop bath uh, maybe some um, blix is like left over like you don't want trace amounts of anything going back into your base I always want to make sure that if I'm making photo flow I make enough so that I can use it dump it and I don't have to keep remixing this every single time everybody has access to gallon jugs of water so go get yourself a gallon jug of distilled water by the way you don't want to add contaminants back into your process by just getting regular old water Get distilled water. It's the best water that you can get, especially if you're doing chemistry related things. Uh, so you can get like for a dollar, you can get a gallon of distilled water. And all you have to do is take out 18 milliliters of water and put in 18 milliliters of photo flow. So yeah, then you have a gallon of photo flow at your disposal. And all you have to do is once you've done your whole development process, my last step is always pour it in the photo flow. I continuously agitate it for about 30 seconds. And then I just dump it all out and I hang the film to dry and you get perfect, perfect negatives. So long as you don't have heavy handed squeegee techniques, you will get scratch free, dust free negatives every time. So here's the beauty of PhotoFlow guys. This one bottle will probably last you as long as you shoot film. I mean, I shoot pretty often and I just made a gallon of PhotoFlow and I might have used maybe one finger's worth of liquid. I mean, this bottle cost me, I think, $10 on Amazon, something like that, I uh, ordered it a while ago. And I've barely even used a little, like just, I don't know, maybe like half an inch worth of photo flow. And I've got 16, I think it's 16 ounces. Yeah, you get 16 ounces. And I just made a gallon with maybe uh, 1.5 ounces. So, you know, you guys do the math. This stuff will last you a really long time. And I would not be developing negatives myself if I did not have access to PhotoFlow because when I originally started doing all this stuff, uh, I wasn't getting the best results. And I went back to using PhotoFlow. Uh, I stopped believing that I didn't need it. <laughs> and I, I went back to using PhotoFlow and my negatives have thanked me. My art has thanked me. So I can't say it enough. If you're doing this, get PhotoFlow, seriously. 